In this video, I'm going to be explaining how the July 4th event works, and I'll also be letting you know whether or not it's possible to get the turf effect for free. So, let's get started. The event lasts for two weeks and has a total of two stages. There's the preparation stage and the display stage. The preparation stage is further divided into four sub-stages. The first sub-stage of the preparation stage lasts for four days and requires you to collect fire molds by attacking fire boxes on the map. You can attack 40 of these boxes daily and each box gives you one mold which can be used to cast your vote for the fireworks. You can attack these boxes using the blue double roadster to get double rewards. Each vote that you cast will give you 3 points. So in total you can get up to 120 points per day, meaning by the end of the first substage you can get up to 480 points without spending. The second substage is similar to the first one. You need to attack pigment warehouses 40 times a day to get pigments that you can then use to vote and get points. You can either use a mystery pigment to vote to get 3 points or you can use a colored pigment to get 2. I'm not sure how many pigments you'll be getting from the warehouses daily during this substage. However, if we assume that you only get 1 pigment per warehouse, then the maximum number of points you'll be able to get without spending during this substage will again be 480 points assuming you do 40 warehouses per day and get 3 points per warehouse. The third substage will only last for 3 days instead of 4, and during this stage players will be required to raid firework shops to get firework support tickets. You can raid up to 40 of these shops daily and each ticket that you get will give you 3 points. So assuming you only get 1 ticket per shop, then during substage 3 you should only be able to get 360 points. Substage 4 is where the leader with the most personal points during the first three substages will be appointed as the city agent who will be able to decide how the two selected colors will combine, which special effect will be used in the fireworks display, and the text that will be shown in the fireworks display. This substage will last for one day and players will probably not be allowed to score any more points for this event once this substage starts. However, I could be completely wrong here. Finally, after all four substages of the preparation stage come to an end, the fireworks display stage will start which will last for two days. During this stage, players will be able to light the fireworks of different cities to get rewards. So assuming you don't spend any money, you'll only be able to score 1320 points during this event. This means that in order to get the turf effect, you'll have to spend to get the extra 3980 points. Currently, a $100 pack gives you 50 molds which can be used to get 150 points. So assuming you only buy $100 packs, then it should cost you $2,700 more to get the turf effect from this event. However, in case it's possible to get some extra points from the second and third phases, then this number might go down. But it seems very unlikely that players will be able to unlock the turf effect for free. There are global ranking rewards for this event for personal points as well as for clan points, and there are also city ranking rewards for personal points. So that's pretty much how the July 4th event works. Let me know what you guys think about this event in the comments down below. Before I end this video, I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me, there's a link to my Patreon in the description below. So that's all I had for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys, and I will see y'all in the next one.